Hey, what's going on? Trip Kramer here from tripadvice.com. We're talking about chasing. How annoying is it, honestly, to be just chasing after women, to be trying so hard to get them or get them attracted to you and it's just not working? Well, one of the things is that the whole act of you actually chasing a woman is what turns her off. The guys who are chasing women generally lose. I remember when I was younger in high school, in college, and even into my early 20s, that's what I was doing. I was in chase mode. And once in a while, it works. You know, once in a while, one of the situations ends up going your way. But more times than not, it doesn't work. So what does that mean anyways? What does it mean to chase a girl? Well, what I'm saying is you're basically trying too hard and you're looking needy and that act of that chase of trying so hard actually gets her to be turned off. Texting all the time, asking them on dates all the time and it is good if you are someone who has ever chased a girl before in that sense. It is good that you are putting yourself out there and you are going for the clothes so to speak but if it doesn't work out, chasing her more or trying even harder or being extra persistent is not going to seal the deal. I want you to be careful because there's gonna be guys in the comments and you're gonna hear anecdotal evidence of guys saying, well that's, or women even saying, oh that's not true. I remember this one guy who asked me out, you know, I said no to him and then after the eighth time I finally said yes and now he's my husband. Or you're gonna hear like, no, be persistent. Like you gotta keep going for it. Okay, yeah, like I said, that works once in a while, but that is extremely rare. That is the exceptional case. That persistence, that chasing generally does not work. So what do you have to do? You have to get her to chase you. And here's a line that I love, because I know you're here for the line, so I'll give you the line, and that's fine. But you have to understand how to use the line and the context in which to use it and why it works. But the line that you can say to a woman is, oh man, we would never get along. I'm not acting it out in the way that I would say it, but that's the words. Oh man, we would never get along. Okay, so that's the line. So when would you use this, and also why does it get her to chase you? You would generally use this in, a, uh, in an approach setting. This wouldn't necessarily be on a first date, although you can use it on a first date, but this is generally when you are meeting a girl, you're approaching her, or it's some sort of in-person interaction and you're meeting her for the first time at a networking event, at a singles event, uh, at a friend's house, at a party, something like that. And you guys are talking and maybe a couple minutes in, she tells you about herself and she's talking about something, you're asking her some questions and then you go, oh man, we would never get along. So this is what's called a disqualifier. So you're disqualifying her, right? You're saying, hey, you're disqualified. I'm disqualifying you. I'm saying to you, this is never gonna work out. And what this does is it actually gets her to chase you. Now again, it doesn't work 100% of the time, but it does work a lot of the time. And you should definitely try it. And you can use that or any form of that, any form of disqualification saying that you two would never get along, it's not gonna work out anything like that. You can even make up your own, that's fine. But you're gonna say it, and this is gonna get her to start to chase your validation and say, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wow, I can't believe he's saying that. So some of the psychology behind this is the idea that, well, a couple things. One, we want what we can't have. So it's like an example of it going to a club and it's so hard to get in and then you can't get in and it makes you wanna get in more, okay? So that's one of the reasons behind it. Now another reason why chasing or getting her to chase that validation is works so well because she becomes more attracted to you when she knows that you have more options. You are basically saying to her that you have options when you are not trying to chase her. And women become more attracted to a guy who has options. And one of the reasons that is is because of social proof. It's basically, Social proof, without even her having to see that other women want you, you are subconsciously saying that to her. You're subconsciously saying that there are other women who want you, and that's why you're saying to her, like, we'll never get along, this isn't gonna work out. Like, you're pushing her away. 
you're pushing her away a little bit. That's what makes it so powerful. Real quick, I actually have a lot of other conversation topics that are very powerful when you're talking to a woman, especially if you meet her in person. It's called Chick Crack. It's 100% free and it even gets you on my email list. My email list is newsletters that I send out about two to three times a week that give you more tips and more techniques on how to flirt and meet women. So you can check that out down below. There's a link where you'll get an email with a video called Chick Crack, which is about 10, 15 minutes long, teaching you several different conversation topics that you can use alongside of this line that helps get her to chase you. So in summary, we wanna make sure that she's doing the chasing, you're no longer doing the chasing, we understand that this is powerful because we wanna get her to the point where she sees you as not needy and a guy with options. So whatever you can do in a conversation to make sure that you are disqualifying her, try that out, see how it works. Go in the description down below, get Chick Crack, get that free video. I know a lot of guys have had it and they've told me that they love it. They've actually DM me and saying how helpful it is when they're using these topics in conversation because it helps continue the conversation and it also is conversation that is interesting to women. And I think you're going to find it interesting too. Go ahead and check that out. I'll see you on the next video.